President Obama keeps dropping little hints, not big hints, but little hints about who he might nominate for the Supreme Court. Back again to discuss this big choice, Democratic Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz of Florida, former Bush White House counsel Rachel Brand, and Harvard Law Professor Charles Ogletree. I want to go through a litany of listening to presidents talk about the issue that always comes up. Every president is asked, will you ask the candidates? about their views on abortion rights. And every president says, no, I would never specifically ask that question. But they always do give hints about their beliefs. Let's go back in time. Here's a then young President Bill Clinton in early 1993 asking, answering the question, do you have a litmus test on abortion? I will not ask any potential Supreme Court nominee how he or she would vote in any particular case. I will not do that. But I will endeavor to appoint someone <clears throat> who has certain deep convictions about the Constitution. And I strongly believe in the constitutional right to privacy. Okay, so there's your hint. He strongly believes in the constitutional right to privacy. That tells you where he is anyway. Now let's listen to George W. Bush. This is July 2005. Read into this. There'll be no litmus test. I'll pick people who, one, can do the job, People who are honest, people who are bright, and people who will strictly interpret the Constitution and not use the bench to legislate from. Strictly interpret, not legislate, that is the conservative code for he doesn't think the word abortion or the right to privacy is in the Constitution. Now listen to President Obama today who sounded a bit like President Clinton but went a bit further. I want somebody who is going to be interpreting uh, our Constitution in a way that takes into account uh, individual rights, and that includes women's rights. Uh, and that's going to be something that's very important to me uh, because I think part of what uh, our core constitution, constitutional values promote is the notion that uh, individuals uh, are protected in their privacy and uh, their bodily integrity, uh, and women are not exempt from that. Rachel, you've been through this process and you've studied the other guys when they make the process protected in their privacy and their bodily integrity. Have you ever heard a president use those words before? No, and my question is, how will the president determine whether the nominee believes the same way that he does? Because during the hearing, the nominee is not going to want to answer any questions that would say how he or she would decide the case if it came before the court. And therefore, a president doesn't ask the nominee those questions. If the president says, do you think there's a right to abortion in the Constitution, then it's going to be fair game for the Senate to ask the nominee the same question, which the nominee will not want to answer. So the president has to look for other ways of finding that out besides asking it straight out. Now, there are some fans of transparency who wish all these questions were inbounds. Why not? Well, because I think it's, uh, it's inappropriate to ask uh, potential Supreme Court justices direct questions. I mean, because they, that, that, that takes away, essentially, their neutrality if they're deciding where they would come down before a case is in front of them. I think President Obama is going to be able to discern. He's already demonstrated his ability to uh, nominate a very qualified uh, le person with a lot of legal, ex incredibly important legal experience who has made those kinds of decisions. Um, individual rights is, and the right to privacy is uh, something that he'll talk to each potential nominee about, and that's appropriate. Professor Ogletree, you not only graded his papers, but you've talked to him as president. So your former student, who is now the president, when he uses words like that, and more broadly, when he looks at this decision, take us inside what you know he thinks about. Well, this, this is breaking news right now, John. Let me tell you this. Barack Obama is a Democrat. <laughs> He's a liberal. He believes in a woman's right to choose. All of those things are Barack Obama. He's been that way as long as he's been alive. It says nothing about who he's going to pick or who he thinks will be qualified. He's telling us, as he's told us over and over and over again, his views. He will not, as no president in my knowledge has ever, ask a candidate about their views on specific issues. On the other hand, I think the Senate has an opp opportunity, an obligation, and responsibility to ask those tough questions even though the candidate may not answer them. They, they, sh they make their vote based on what the pre candidates say. But President Obama didn't say anything unusual. It's a slow news day when you're saying Obama, the liberal Democrat, said he believes in a woman's right to choose. Come on, John. No, I know, he, be be I know he believes in the test. woman's right to choose, and you know that's a factor in his Absolutely. thinking, but I've never heard but a president be that specific in answer to that question. I think Most presidents good. just shut it down. I think that's good. That's perfect. I think he's, uh, he's having the conversation that we should have as a country. But you can't say or imply, uh-oh, Obama's going further than any president in the nation's history in telling us who he's looking for for a candidate. You know what? 
uh, the reality is most of the people he's looking for and thinking about have never even decided a case or been on a bench deciding a case about a woman's right to choose or not, e or not even are, are judges. So it's a throwaway question. It will generate 24 hours of news. But when you see his nominee, you'll say, huh, I don't know how he or she fits that question or whether that really is the question that uh, President Obama is concerned about. I think it's other things that the executive branch is concerned about. And I think that his nominee will reflect the other things that are important to him but won't be a litmus test. I, I just want to say as we close the segment, I, we don't take sides here, but I'm always on the record for president saying more, not less, about what they're thinking. I would say that. <laughs> Professor Ogletree, <Good>. Congressman <laughs> <laughs> Wasserman Schultz, Rachel Brandt, thanks so much for coming in tonight.